So we've soaked up, we've rinsed, we scrubbed the car down, and now we want to rinse with the wash sprayer. So I'm going to switch from my soap drop on here and connect in tap water for the preliminary rinse and use the uh, spray head. Now that we've done our initial rinse, and this was actually quite quicker than a hose end sprayer rinse because of the pressure that's involved, we're going to switch to a rinse and go pure water rinse by installing the rinse and go. Its favorite partner, the wash sprayer and the rinse and go together are your key to quick and easy cleaning. So we're going to put the rinse and go in line with our system. So we've hooked up our rinse and go over by the tap that's coming out on the hose and connecting to our wash sprayer and now we're going to perform our pure water rinse. So you can see how you can see how we're going to get a nice clean blade of water to help us with the rinse and create that wave of rinse water ahead of us. A little bit of extra pressure that's coming out of the wash sprayer allows the uh, pure water rinse to form a little better because it can help knock off any contaminants that might have been stuck on, perhaps the soap dried, something like that. It uh, performs an extra level of rinsing. So that's your uh, wash sprayer with the pure water rinse and go or pure water of your choice.